Okay, so today I've got a big investment portfolio update for you guys, showing my full £56,000 portfolio, which I hold across Trading212 and Vanguard UK. And two of the positions which I hold have now hit a home run of over a 100% return on investment, which I want to share with you guys during today's video. So here's the plan. I'll give a bit of a market update to begin with. We'll then discuss my individual holdings and we'll go into a little bit more depth on some of the holdings that I have. Then towards the end of the video, I'll also do some live investments too. So be sure to stick around for that. So let's start off with a market update. I invest in the stock market. It's been a little bit of a funny start to the year. It all started off quite doom and gloom. And then the US stock market recently rallied to all time highs. And that's largely been driven by tech with the likes of Nvidia, AMD, Microsoft and Meta platforms all popping off so far this year. However, it has started to bring seeds of doubt into investors minds about the total performance of the US stock market being largely concentrated or over concentrated in a handful of tech stocks. But nonetheless, as things stand, it's certainly clear where investor optimism is for the future. But on the other side of the pond, it's not so rosy here in the UK. Despite some analysts suggesting that the Bank of England may actually cut rates to 4% this year, it's still not enough to have an overall positive impact on the stock market. In actual fact, the FTSE 100 and the FTSE 250 have started this year off just as badly as they finished the last, with the FTSE 100 shedding 3.25% and the FTSE 250 shedding 2 and a half percent. And whilst it certainly doesn't feel great to not be investing domestically, I think just looking at the returns of our counterparts over in the United States just goes to show that the UK isn't and certainly hasn't been an appealing investment for many years now. And to be honest, I don't think much is going to change in the years ahead either. So for now, I think I'll press on with my US based investment portfolio. So now let's dive into my Vanguard UK portfolio and let's discuss the holdings within it. So current portfolio value sits at £12,974.15, pennies, all of which is held in a Vanguard VUSA S&P 500 ETF. Now, as you guys can see, I'm pretty much at home run status with a 99.45% gain on this portfolio, which was largely helped on by the S&P 500 performance last year because the S&P 500 gained about 24%. The portfolio is up £157 and a few pence year to date, which has been helped on by the decent start to the year that the S&P 500 has had. And full transparency, here is a monthly view of the returns of this portfolio that you can see in the past few months and over the past couple of years, just to show you how the portfolio is performing and how the portfolio actually fluctuates in value too. I must admit it is fairly consistent and it doesn't fluctuate too massively in either direction, but you can see certainly periods where we've had consecutive months of gains and also some other months where the portfolio has certainly taken a beating. Like we saw back in January 2022, where the portfolio went down about a thousand pounds in value. I think it's important to share with you guys the information like that, just to manage expectations that when you're investing, the value of your investments can go up, but they can go down too. And one month to the next can be completely different. But the longer the time goes on and the more experience that you gain from investing into the stock market, the less you actually really care about the general fluctuations in the portfolio's value month to month. And instead, it just becomes all about focusing on the long term instead, which, as you can see from this portfolio, has certainly treated me well in the past few years. So now let's dive on to my Trading212 portfolio. So as you guys can see, my Trading212 portfolio should be now up on the screen. We have a total portfolio value of £42,517, £41,412 of which is invested into the portfolio. And we have three funds, which is invested in Trading212's two two's money market funds with a 5% interest rate of £1,104, some of which I'll be investing during today's video. Now, if I'm honest, this portfolio has been on an absolute tear in the past month or so. As of right now, we're up just over £10,000. At the start of the month, we were up 9247 so we're seeing gains of roughly about £800 in the past 30 days or so. With now the portfolio sitting at an overall return on investment of now five figures of £10,006 or £10,000 on the dot as of right now for a gain of about 31.8%. This portfolio is now absolute all-time highs and it's kind of great to see that all of the things I've been talking about on this channel for the past couple of years and all of the investments that I've been making now we've actually got some kind of financial rewards attached to them. If you've been around for some while watching these updates, well, thanks for sticking with me and hopefully it just kind of demonstrates the power of consistent monthly actions compounding over time. So with that said, now let's dive into my individual holdings. We're starting off with advanced micro devices, 42 shares in total, for a total rate of return of 102.8%. Total value of five and a half grand, and we are up unrealized gains on this position, two thousand eight hundred and eleven pounds. 
up. AMD stock is up 25.7% for the year already and has been quickly jumping up the list of S&P 500 stocks. Now being ranked in 25th spot for market capitalization, jumping above Walmart, Coca-Cola and Chevron in the past few days. Now, the reason for such upside in this stock is largely down to all of this optimism around artificial intelligence. With the AI market set to grow from $500 billion in 2023 to $2.5 trillion in 2032, which is a compounded annual growth rate of 19%. All of this optimism around AI and AMD has resulted in analyst ratings of a strong buy with some analysts increasing price targets, but the average price target on the whole is still $148, which is down about 14.9% from current market prices. And look, I can certainly understand that kind of market analyst forecast, if you like, with P multiples now at over 1700 times earnings. So I am quite seriously considering trimming some of my AMD position down now and actually rebalancing part of my investment portfolio. But what do you guys think I should do? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Next up on the list, we have 35 shares in Amazon valued at £4,264. We are up 9.5% on this position, the equivalent to £369. Now, after a couple of poor years performance in my portfolio for Amazon with the stock fluctuating and still nowhere near the kind of previous all-time highs at the back end of 2021 it's good to see that the stock is now certainly gaining a little bit of momentum now aws has been the source of optimism for amazon stock most recently they recently invested 15 billion dollars to expand their aws offering in japan and expanded their aws offering to include new ai products too now analysts are really optimistic on amazon stock having it down as a strong buy rating with price targets of 182 dollars and 24 pence per share which is an upside of 17.7% from current market prices. Next up, we have Apple, 59 shares in total, valued at £8,976. We're up 54.3%, the equivalent unrealized profit of £3,159. Now, Apple has been certainly one of the quieter gainers amongst the Magnificent Seven over the past few months. But having recently knocked Samsung off their perch as now the largest phone maker, breaking a 12-year record, Apple is still clearly heading in the right direction. Whilst this one has floated under the radar for a little while now, I'm certainly interested to see what earnings reports come out as on the 1st of February, so be sure to earmark that one's in your diary. Analysts do still have Apple stock down as a buy rating with price target of $200 per share, which is a 3.2% upside from current market prices. Next up on my list, we have Meta Platforms, 19 shares in total, valued at £5,740. We are up 48.3% on this position for the equivalent gain of £1,871. Meta have quite literally come back from the dead since previous lows. After experiencing a 76% plunge, the stock is now trading, would you believe it, back at all-time highs and is on the verge of becoming a $1 trillion company for the first time in its history. This has all been thanks to Mark Zuckerberg's strategy, which he announced at the start of last year, which we covered on this channel, being the year of efficiency in 2023. This was all about increasing Meta's profit margins throughout the year, and it certainly looks like it's something that Meta have delivered on, with forecasts suggesting that Meta could have had their most profitable year in 2023 in the company's history. Now, despite such a huge gain for Meta's stock in most recent times, Analysts do still have it down as a strong buy rating with price targets of $385 per share, which is actually about bang on where current market prices currently are. Next up, we have Palantir Technologies, 109 shares in total, valued at 1,525 quid. We are down now back in the red once again, down £281 on this position, the equivalent to an unrealized loss of 15.5%. I like it. The stock is still very volatile, I must admit, and we are up about 7% so far this year as things stand. And the stock is still certainly poised to benefit from the AI revolution, which certainly keeps me as an investor optimistic about its long-term prospects. Despite this being more of a high-risk, high-growth stock within my investment portfolio. However, I do still think the big sticking point for Palantir's stock is their profitability with a forward price to earnings ratio of 56 times earnings it's even higher than the likes of nvidia as things stand so i certainly think earnings need to catch up a little bit before the stock price can sustainably move higher right now analysts have palantir stock down as a hold rating with price targets of 15 dollars 14 per share which is about 14.9% downside from current market prices. Next up, we have Tesla, 27 shares in total, valued at £4,454. We are up 
4% on this position with an unrealized profit of £755. Tesla has had a difficult start to the year and is still very much on a downward trajectory, being down 15.5% year to date which takes the company's total stock declines from the peak market value in 2021 to about 48.5%. Tesla will have reported earnings by the time this video comes out this week, and I think investors are very much desperate to see a positive set of earnings reports come out. But analysts are already calling out potential slippage in profit margins, which it could only add to the current weakness that Tesla's stock price is currently seeing. But let's see how it plays out in a couple of days' time. For now, Tesla's stock is still ranked as a buy rating. And now let's have the price targets of the stock at $228.65 per share, which is up 8.9% from current market prices. Then finally, we have 151 shares of the Vanguard VUSA S&P 500 ETF, total value of £10,932 for equivalent rate of return of 14 percent where we're up for an unrealized profit of £1,345. Now I've already touched upon what's going on in the S&P 500 so today I'm just going to make another simple investment just continuing to cost average my way into uh, the ETF. Today I'm going to add an additional nine units for £651.71 and pence. I'm going to send that by order to the market. But if you're not yet convinced as to why you should be absolutely investing in 2024 and beyond then be sure to click on this video next. But before you go, if you want to grow your wealth in 2024, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That being said, I'll see you over in the next one.